is our deen, this is our teaching, and this is our, inshallah, effort. But Jannah is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rahmah, Jahannam is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's adal. Jannah is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy, and Jahannam is what is fair. Jannah is what is fair. But this narration is saying that sometimes in the dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make a person taste the punishment. And we believe this in regards to good deeds as well. We believe in barakah. We believe in khair. We believe all of the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the masnoon du'as and the sunnah, right? Recite surah waqiyah, Allah will give you barakah in your rizq. We believe in all of these things. We believe all of these things by doing certain amal and by living our life according to the sunnah, according to the sharia, ah, good akhlaq, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make our dunya easier. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make our dunya more enjoyable. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us blessing and barakah. We believe in barakah and blessing and khair. But even if a person does not have any of those things, but they are able to go to Jannah, then whatever happened in the dunya is irrelevant. This narration is telling us Right? That the opposite is also true. Just like a person can experience khair, goodness, and barakah, blessing in the dunya, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us all to experience that. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. But it's also possible a person can suffer in this dunya as well. They will suffer in this dunya, may Allah protect us, and they will also suffer in the akhirah. We may do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. This narration is telling us that. مَا مِنْ ذَنْبٍ أَجْدَرُ أَنْ يُعَجَّلَ لِصَاحِبِهِ الْعَقُوبَةُ Okay, مُعَجَّلُ تَعَيْن تَعَجِيل means jalli, meaning something that happens immediately. Right, in nikah, مَهَرْ مُعَجَّلُ تَعَيْن means you pay immediately. And مُعَجَّلُ تَعَمْزَ means future. Right, udha, later on. So تَعَجِيل means jalli, jaldbazi, to be quick, to hasten, to bring immediately, soon. He says that there is no wrong action, there is no sin, there is no mistake that brings the punishment in this dunya faster than two things. Baghi and Qatiyatul Rahim. Zul, Baghawat, going beyond the limits. Especially when you have been given authority, especially when you have been given responsibility over somebody else. Instead of fulfilling the haq properly, instead of doing insaf, instead of being just, you take advantage of people, right? And the Quran speaks very clearly about the people of Bagha, the people of oppression, right? That one group that is dominating and doing zulm against the other group, you have to fight against them until they stop. And then once they are able to stop, then try to do islah between them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes those who treat each other fairly. Don't try to dominate or oppress one another. So one is baghi, this form of zulm and domination over one another. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Make it easy for the entire room. And the second is qatiyatul rahim, breaking family ties. Breaking family ties. So this hadith doesn't specifically mention parents. But the closest relationship that we have is our parents. <coughs> and we talked about it. Imam Bukhari has mentioned so many hadith about it. And specifically the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu The word rahmah, the word for Rahim and Rahma are the same word. Rahma we translate it as mercy. Raham is the word for the womb of the mother. W O M B, the womb of the mother where the child is carried. Right? And these two are directly connected to one another. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we believe he has more Rahma and more love for his creation than even our own mothers have. If this is the case, then the Prophet وسلم, is telling you whoever wants to break that, they are broken from the Rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people that you are supposed to be nicest to and the most best akhlaq to. We've been saying this every week as we're going through this chapter. Are your parents, your wife, your husband, your kids, your brothers and sisters. We are nice to people outside, but we're not nice to people inside our home. And this is one of the fastest ways, and may Allah protect us, one of the easiest ways. May Allah protect us, one of the most serious ways to bring punishment in this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from <laughs> But even in this world as well, one of the ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala feels that a person needs to be stopped and needs to be tested is when they are violating the hukuk of the family. Right? And you know, we hear it in the Jummah Khutbah every week, the other ayah, Surah Nisa. Ya yuhanna suttaqu rabbakum alladhi khalaqukum min nafsin wahida wa khalaqa minha zawjaha wa batha minhuma rijalan kathira wa nisa wa taqu allaha alladhi sasa'aluna bihi wal arha. The family ties. Inna Allah ta'ana alaykum raqib. Allah talks about 
the creation of human beings, one male, one female, and then marriage, and then families, right? And through this process, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made all of our relationships. Our parents, our spouse, our children, our siblings, everybody who is extended, connected to us. It's not easy, but it's very, very necessary. And the Prophet is warning us, this is how a person can become worthy, can be deserving of punishment in this dunya. I mean, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be patient, allow us to be understanding, and do our own islah so that we can do islah of our relationships with our family members. We look to the Qur'an, we look to the Sunnah, we look to the teachings of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We look to the people who are people of akhlaq to bring these characteristics into our hearts, into our lives, into our homes. And inshallah, make our homes places of sukoon and sakina and make our marriages and make our relationship with our parents and our relationship with our children and our siblings, right? The strongest, most beautiful and most beloved relationships. These are the people that we have hak over and they have hak over us as well. It's very, very important that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we make this dua to Him, that oh Allah, You are the one who creates the relationships that, you know, we make this dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that He protect us. We don't just want Jannah, we also want what's khair and good and hasana and best for us in this dunya as well. And the people that will also benefit from that, we want to make sure that we are part of that. Benefit. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me all of us so much to 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 so much